mission with the task of trying to find out the person that you are. And I come up with the worst ways to do it. So um, I'm now going to subject, subject you to a, a little bit of movie stuff. Because oh. I, I think that you can tell a lot about a person based on their movie taste. I mean, we talk about music, you say you like a lot of music, all music, you know. So maybe if we hammer it down a little better on movies, we'll get a better idea. So okay. indulge me if you will. What was the last movie you saw, first off? The last movie I saw was actually, it was in New York City. I rented Saw 4. Was it good? It was okay. It was exactly what it was supposed to be. Yeah. One so of those people. One or of one of those movies. Yep. Have okay. you guys seen any movies recently? Uh, no Country, the reason I ask is No Country for Old Men recently won Best Picture, so. Yeah, I've you, seen that. You saw that? I've seen that. Was it Best Picture worthy? I don't know if it was Best Picture worthy. I did like the movie. Um, up to uh, up until the end, if you've seen it. I've seen it. We shouldn't yeah. talk about it. No, we won't talk about it. it. We'll talk about it during the commercial break. But, uh, <laughs> did you see any other ones that went for Best Picture? Um, it was Juno. Juno was up. I did like Juno, but I mean, uh, obviously, I've, over the past years, there have been so many Best Picture movies that have been outstanding. Uh, I don't know. There was two. I don't think there was any one that stood out this year. Yeah, I saw Michael Clayton. I haven't seen it yet. Nothing to really brag about. Uh, I fell asleep, woke up. Didn't miss a thing. No. That's how you know it's not, it's not that great of a movie. All right. Um, could you review the following movies as if they came out today? Okay. And you're a critic. You can okay. tell people whether or not to go see them tomorrow. Okay. Star Wars. Which which one? All six. <laughs> All six coming out sure. at once. Uh, it's, it's a long time. Let's see. Uh, it lasted about uh, 12 hours too long. If I'm watching <laughs> all six at one time, I mean, it's tough. I think they should have separated them into six, you know, but... Right, but that was okay. Good, good special movie. effects. Uh, you know, the first three had unbelievable special effects. The last three were kind of old. Right. It's weird how that happened. Yeah, so I, I, don't like know, technology. I don't know what they did. They yeah. like ran out of money, maybe. The Notebook. Uh, realistic uh, love story that I didn't cry when I watched it. But did you like it? I liked it, yeah. It's pretty good. And I don't care what everyone says about dudes liking it. It's a good movie. It's a good I movie. I think it's kind of cool. Anybody, yeah. that, any guy that claims not to like a notebook is pretending he doesn't like exactly. it. Exactly. He's, he's faking it. And I mean, come on. Like, if a guy's going to, you know, jump on the, the Ferris wheel, you know, he's hanging there. But, I mean, come on. You got to. It's desperate, but it's cool. Mean Girls. I like that movie. Yeah. It's a good I like movie. that movie because it's exactly, I mean, it's, that's all it is. I, mean, I don't know. It's a good movie. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. So Shawshank Redemption. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. Favorite movie? Um. I like Shawshank Redemption. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that one. But Dumb and Dumber. Uh, same thing. Same I mean, thing. you watch that. You can watch that when you're, you know, twelve or whatever, and get all like the the stupid jokes, and you can watch it now and get all the real jokes that are that are yeah. you're supposed to you're supposed to laugh yeah. at. I mean, I remember watching that when I was a kid and like not getting half the jokes, and you know now it's I mean, it's still one of the funniest movies ever. I think. Would you trade your television for life? You watch TV? Yeah, I love uh, I love okay. TV. I Perfect. watch a lot of it. Would you trade your TV for life for another ten goals per season for every year you were in the league? Of course, I'd love to get uh, ten more goals. Well, TV for life. I mean, even after you're retired, you can't watch TV anymore ever. Nah, there's other things I can do. Okay. Well, the internet will probably have some. You know, <laughs> it's got TV on the internet. Um, we'll still watch movies. Yeah. Well, no, I'll take movies away too. Oh, no, no movies. Now we've got to think about it. Would you still do it for 10 goals? Probably not. <laughs> uh, you ever walk out of a movie theater? Mid-movie? Uh, Halloween, the new one. I was thinking about it, yeah, but I didn't. Uh, I was close. I think uh, a couple guys that I went with, they, they did walk out. So, But I, I stuck with it because I like Rob Zombie. Was, okay, the new one, Halloween. Yeah, so yeah. not the Michael Myers H2O? No, 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 this not, no, not H2O. Which was uh, like <laughs> an hour and five minutes long. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that was a, bad, that was a mistake, but hey. We're making money, why not? Sure. All right, well, uh, any other, anything you'd like to add about movies in general? Confessions of a Teenage Toronto Queen, so you forgot that. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. But I should? You should, yeah. Uh, I'll, pick it up. I'll, pick it. I'll be sure to pick it up I mean, tonight. I mean, come on, Lindsay Lohan. Well, Lindsay Lohan, come on. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Sabres forward, Drew Stafford.